Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. I am Jason Steele, and I'm here with Robert Benfer. Hello, Jason Still. I'm Robert Benfer. Yes, and uh, Christopher. Cri- uh, what's what? What? Cri- uh, it's it's it, Alex. Christopher Alex. <laughs> Good to have you on the show. Good to be on the show. Good to have you. Good to have you both. So, politics. Yes. What do you all think of the flat tax? Bring Whoa. Bush back. Bring Bush back. <laughs> I agree, but enough about porn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I mean, I think things are usually better when they're flat because you can fit them in more places. That's true. The flatter the tax, the better the the country, I always say. That's true. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Do you disagree, Chris? I like mountain taxes mm. because they're pretty to look at. So yeah, we've been we've been gone for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been a couple of weeks. This Thank show, this sh- we're recording this show before the previous show went up because I didn't have time to edit it before <laughs> I left. We don't we don't really edit these shows anymore. This happened no, last time just, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, didn't this? We just this we just kind of uh, we happening. record an, we record an episode and then we type up a, a transcript of the episode mm-hmm. and we print it out. Yeah, and then we read it again. Yeah, and so record we that. And, and we I like a, how we how we tease yeah. everybody though on on Facebook when we say we're recording an episode today, so people are like, "All right, you, you should stop doing that, Robert." <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> I kind of I kind of feel bad afterwards because I didn't. I thought people knew that you you edited the show. I didn't know people were gonna get all <laughs> all <laughs> mad at you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop telling people when we re- record the show. That was. Bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, oh yeah, uh, something huge happened. Something huge. The Chaos Bunny Facebook page reached a thousand fans. That wow. Okay, one well, thousand fans. That's not huge, but okay. One thousand people, man. Our little family is growing. I wonder if we're gonna reach two thousand. When you said huge, I thought you were gonna say like the vice president turns out to be a lizard person or something. I thought, no. it was, I thought it was going to be, like, really big. Speaking of <laughs> huge, uh, are you guys enjoying Google Plus? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you funny because... Circles? <laughs> I got Google Plus the first week that it came out. Somehow I got invited and was in the first week, so I was playing with it for a long time. I'm really, really enjoying not using Google Plus. <laughs> I like it. It's great. I, I sign on, I don't do anything, and I leave. I kind of like uh it's like a mix between Facebook and Twitter. Yes, it's like it's it's like if you had a Facebook account that could only do what Twitter does. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, I mean <laughs> But see, I think it I think it's given people cuz there a lot of people were were kind of tired of Facebook and all the Yes, clearly people are tired of Facebook. That's why they spend all day on it. <laughs> Not those people are tired of it, but there are people that are tired of it and wanted something different. Uh-huh. And I think this gives them – this gives them – it's simple. It's easy to use. Like Twitter. Yeah, I like but, that. Um, it's like Twitter, but it has circles instead of lists. Well, I like that um, That it's kind of like Twitter where fans can – they can follow my personal circle, but I don't have to share everything with them. And I don't have to see all their freaking streams, their news streams. Yeah, so like you can so you can make not, you can make funny posts to your fans and then post nude pictures to your family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I can't do that with my like because with Facebook you gotta have a fan page and a personal page. With this, it can all be one. Right, you got one like, page. Kind of like MySpace, except I can go. Okay, I don't want them to see this. Uh huh. <laughs> it kind of it kind of incorporates Twitter and Facebook into one one simple to use program, but without any of the features of Facebook. Right. Well, the, Facebook is starting to get messy, though. I mean, do you do you use all? I'm tired of seeing Farmville crap come up. I'm tired of all that crap. I just want you know. Bring, I just want something to share. Bring Farmville to Google Plus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I'm know. tired of tired the, of the, the mafia thing, games. And the only thing all that I crap. can say about Google Plus is that it isn't terrible. 
It's just I don't. Yeah. No one. No one's using it right now. Not yet. It says there. I think there's 20 million, 12, 20 million subscribers uh-huh. to Google Plus since it's started. Yeah, that's a, that's people, a pretty decent amount. A lot of people I know who have Google Plus don't even know how to use it yet. Like, uh, <laughs> they haven't gotten around to actually fiddling, fiddling with it. Yeah, like my that's friend, the thing. Uh, it's actually Google Plus is a lot more confusing than I expected it to be. It took it yeah, took like, me a while to figure out exactly yeah. what I was doing when I posted something and how to get it. To <laughs> Who was go seeing to, it? Yeah, exactly. yeah. But if, if you remember though, the, it was almost the same. Like Facebook, you you were trying to figure out like all these privacy settings when you first started Facebook. Like, okay, who's seeing what? Who's seeing this? Who's? I mean, well, it's course, almost it's, it's a learning just, curve. You well, yeah. you would expect that Google would be better at this. Shame on you, Google. <laughs> yeah, I added my added my friend Anthony the, from Smosh. I put him in my circle and I texted him like, "Hey, I put you, I put you in my circle. And you should put me in your circles." And he replied to me, "He's like, I don't know how to use that shit. <laughs> I got an account a couple of weeks ago and I just I haven't I didn't want to mess with it. it. I don't know I don't know what to do on it." So the 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 problem that the problem that I have is because I use Gmail and so and I have an Android phone, so all my contacts like everything is everything I use is all intertwined together and. My contacts in my Gmail, some of them kind of got a little messy, um, and so I had like had like two two listings for the same people, and it kind of got messy when I was trying to get people in the circles, and so it I have like two peop two of the same people in the same circle, and it I got to clean it up. It's just well, a mess. The whole thing, I I don't know. I, I gotta go ahead and say, I don't think Google Plus. Be careful, be careful with your predictions, Jason. I, I'm gonna go ahead and make the <laughs> prediction that Google Plus is only the new Google Plus. Can I can I tell you can That's I tell it. can it's I tell not everyone the new Facebook it's not the new Twitter <laughs> Google Plus is the new Google Plus well, it but it's it's simple it's easier I don't I, I I've used Facebook less and less now Google Plus is the new Google Plus <laughs> yeah, I don't think Google it's I don't, Plus. it's not going to replace Facebook I don't think it's going to replace Facebook uh, well, a lot Facebook of people are saying is, it is I think no. I don't think it's going to replace it, Twitter. If it does succeed, I don't think it's going to be place. I think it's just going to be a long. Now we're going to have Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. I don't think we're even going to do that. I, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say and make putting it on. You're putting <laughs> you're going this, all in. This is coming from the guy who said Twitter wasn't going to make it. No, no, because no, 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 I, no. I said when Twitter, Twitter was fucking stupid when it came out. I didn't say it wasn't going to make it. I just you said, said it was stupid. You said your Twitter's not going to go anywhere. Twitter, Twitter. I'm not going to. I said, no, no. I said you should get a phone call. That is completely a lie because the only t- the, the the first time that I even heard about Twitter, it was already there. It was already a thing. It was in the very beginning stages of it. No, I I never ever said that I didn't think Twitter wasn't wasn't going to go anywhere. It, be, and because specifically because the thing that made me change my mind about Twitter was the Iranian Revolution. <laughs> like I remember my history with Twitter. I thought Twitter was terrible. Uh, I, I thought it was really, really stupid. I didn't think it was, wasn't going to go anywhere. I thought it was just dumb. And then now, now you're using it. Yeah, the the Iranian revolution changed my mind. So we need another revolution that Google Plus yes, uh, will be Google involved Plus in. Google Plus is used in a <laughs> diplomatic revolution. Then you'll start using mind. it. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll start using it now, so I know how to use it. So by the time you guys start using it, I can show you what to do. I, I, I really figured it out. It's just, it's not great. I, I know, know, but it's it's one of those things that you and me have to have because of what we do. We don't really. If we have if we to, if we uh, don't do it, then somebody's gonna make a fake one. Yeah, you have to have a placeholder. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's not great. But it's gonna be one of those things where a lot of people are using it, so we're gonna have to post videos there. Because I mean, I'm all, I just got. I don't know if I a lot of people my... are going to be using it though, because I, I'm I'm seeing like the same thing happen with with people who start a Google Plus is that they get a Google Plus and then make a couple posts and then forget about it because they're posting on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll see I what happens. Know. I don't know. It's like when Facebook came along, it provided functionalities that MySpace didn't have. Well, Facebook provided a cleaner a cleaner interface than my, I mean, MySpace the, was the too interface customizable. Better, but just just the interface alone being better wouldn't have moved people from MySpace. I think what what got people over to Facebook was that it did things that people wanted to be able to do, and uh, I mean the fact that it was a better interface was just the icing on the cake. I don't I don't see people moving to Google Plus just because the interface is different. 
Well, but it's it's um, it, it provides something a little different. I mean, Facebook has the capabilities of yeah, but people already have established Facebook and 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 Twitter accounts and followings, and I I I just I don't know. I think I think for Google Plus to go anywhere, it's got to change. There's got to be more to it. Well, they said it's 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 uh, it's. Yeah, still circle, in still in beta mode. Enough. Circles is C- not enough. Circles. I gotta try out that the um, the hangout feature. Yeah, you've got to try it. I'm gonna try it out. I, I kinda, haven't tried I it kinda, yet. I kind of like the uh, can't you can you have like a webcam session with uh, your yeah that's the that's the hangout feature. Or, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's gonna be cool for uh, to do. <laughs> I try it out. <laughs> Jason's just not digging it. <laughs> no, I think I think that's interesting. I don't know. I'm just whatever. See, but I'm I'm a huge Google fan, so I am too. And they've tried some interesting things in the fat past, and a lot of them have failed. Yeah, but like I mean, I, I like a company. I like a company that's not afraid to to be you know New innovative. For the makers of Google Wave. <laughs> what was Google Wave? Their their attempts. Yeah, at it was a, like a Google. It was like a, a Google Wave, Google Buzz. Yeah. It's like all this stuff is kind of intertwined they, into one yeah, thing. They keep trying this. Google Plus is just the newest thing, and I, I do I do respect that they keep trying. I like that. I mean, they're not afraid to try. Yeah. The one and, sad thing I saw is that they're um they're kind of they're going to be slowing down on their uh, their labs projects, mm. and then put all their attention into the stuff they already have out right now. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm a I'm a huge fan of Google. I, I like what they I like the company. I like what they do. I like that they're not afraid to try something. If it doesn't work, sucks. If it works, great, and then they improve it. Yeah, I just don't. I, I think Google Plus is something. Google Plus works. Um, I, I don't think people are going to switch. Well, it's it's hard because Facebook people are so they have all their their pictures, all their friends. You know, yeah, everybody uses it. Yeah, it's just not a good enough idea to get people to. I mean, over. but what what would have to come out in order to cause well, see, I mean, obviously the mass exodus? Know. If we did know, uh-huh. we would be billionaires. I wish I could figure it out. <laughs> I want to be a billionaire. But see, that's the thing. It's like you don't you don't know what it is. It's like it's what what Apple did with the iPhone that got everyone to start making phones like that. Right. Um, it's just there, there's something that people. It, it's it's that what you needed to get people to switch over from regular phones to smartphones. Smartphones have been around for a while. It was just that kind of interface was the kind of right. interface you needed to get people to 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 make the switch over from having a phone that just calls to having a phone that does everything. Right. Yeah. And I think with uh, and that's the reason why there's been no other. I mean, there's no other phone that's come out that you know you have phones like uh, Android phones which have come out as alternatives but not replacements. Like the iPhone was a replacement for the previous types of phones. Yeah, there hasn't been that big idea that's come along that's replaced the iPhone, where all phones passed then. Then I like my that. iPhone, and I, I think with Google Plus, it's the same thing. Google Plus is an alt- alternative, but it's not a replacement. There It'll you be go. interesting to see where it goes from here, though. I'm fascinated by stuff like this, though. Yeah, technology. Maybe they'll make a, the maybe they'll make a movie about it. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, the Google Plus movie seems like it would be pretty boring. <laughs> the guys got an idea. <laughs> circles. That's what. That's what we need. We gotta put circles. I hate lists. We gotta have <laughs> circles, and it'll be literal circles too. You'll drop people into giant circles. <laughs> <laughs> that's what life is now. <laughs> Just a bunch of circles. Uh, Grouping people. So, Robert, you have a new video out. Oh, yeah, I do. I almost forgot. It's about so it's, it's, you, eat a, you eat a cake. It's, it's called Cake, mm-hmm. and it uh, has my friend uh, Dominique Fira in it. Yeah, he made the laser collection. Dominique? And, uh, he was actually supposed to be on this episode, but he's in Comic-Con. He's literally in Comic-Con. He's in Comic-Con. He's in... Comic-Con, California. Comic-Con, the <laughs> mythical beast. He's in Comic-Con, California. Comic-Con. And, He's uh, inside. Which is where, He's been swallowed. I swear, we, we should have been. We should have gone to Comic-Con. That would have been fun. Yeah. I went to Cheeseburger Field Day. 
There you go. That's that's better than Comic Con. Yeah, it was it was actually pretty cool. I, I really like Seattle actually. I, I was expecting to uh just think of Seattle like, oh it's another city, but I, I really, really like Seattle. I've never been. Great city. Great city. Maybe, maybe someday I'll go. Great food. Man. A lot of good food in Seattle. Oh really? Did you have a corn dog? No, there is uh, actually a uh, like a vegetarian <laughs> hot dog place called Cyber Dogs. Cyber really? Dogs. Yeah, they had a, they had a uh, sign on the window with a picture See of you. David Bowie, and it said "Free Hot Dog if you are David Bowie." <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to pass as David Bowie? No, I don't. I don't do. A, I don't do a good David Bowie. No. No. You should learn. You get free food. I know. I, I could have gotten a free hot dog. <laughs> kind of sounds like kind of sounds like Austin. Yeah, maybe. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you Austin. I haven't seen Austin, so I don't know. But yeah, yeah, Seattle. Seattle. It was great. Did you go to Starbucks? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Seattle. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see the first Starbucks. <laughs> Did you uh, did you look for any of the any vampires? Vampires, yeah. I saw a couple of vampires. Some werewolves? No, no werewolves. Just a bunch of uh, I went, blood I went suckers. To, I went to the aquarium. Oh, very Seattle nice. Seattle Aquarium. It was, it was a pretty good aquarium. Saw some seals. Very nice. Yeah, went to the uh, Pacific Science Center. The Pacific Science Center. Yeah, it was a science center. <laughs> Do tell. Uh, it was it was okay. They had a lot of cool things outside that they weren't being operated because it was raining, and uh, so I, I didn't get to see everything. And they had this dinosaur exhibit. It was hilarious. It was like it was it was like '60s animatronics. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaurs were just like thrashing about. Like <laughs> it was it was pretty silly. Obviously, not a state of the art Disney attraction. No, no, I, I don't think. I think it was Imagineer rejects that worked on this. <laughs> <laughs> the people who went crazy at Disney. <laughs> they get banned and they go work over there. And there was all of these, like, signs on, uh, like, underneath the dinosaurs with, like, dinosaur facts and stuff. And there was a lot of these little signs that had, like, questions that I guess they they would expect people to ask <laughs> about dinosaurs, uh, you know, like... Uh, did dinosaurs really, uh, like, uh, do this or that or that? Except all the questions were, like, questions that nobody would ever actually ask. <laughs> they were insane <laughs> questions. It was like, did dinosaurs have two brains? <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> Who asks this? And it was like, no, not really. That was the not answer. really? It was like, no, not really. Dinosaurs had one brain. <laughs> Idiot. And I was like, okay. I don't. Who? When was this a question people would have been asking? I never, <laughs> That's I, a question I would have asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe Robert supplied all the questions. Were dinosaurs good at knitting? <laughs> no. Dinosaurs no. didn't knit at all. <laughs> Did dinosaur wear pants? <laughs> Scientists say probably not. <laughs> Where did dinosaurs go to, this, to go to eat? <laughs> did they go to the store? Believe it or not, there were no dinosaur stores. <laughs> dinosaurs had to make their food at home. <laughs> it was yeah, it was it was pretty pretty silly. <laughs> did dinosaurs evolve into people? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was the Pacific Science Center. Nice. Yeah, Pacific so. Science Center. Wow. I, I'd rather go to Comic-Con, though. <laughs> so I decided that I'm, I'm officially going to Comic-Con next year. That's a good idea. Don't you yeah. have uh, Don't you have a conference you're going to next month? I or no, th- at the end of this what, this weekend? Yeah, I'm supposed to go to, the play, to a VidCon. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> don't you have tickets? Nah. Well, see, I bought the tickets to VidCon, 
But then, uh, but then Jason, then you got you guys are not going, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to go. <laughs> you guys aren't going. VidCan. <laughs> but some, uh, I don't know. I mean, if I decide to go, I'll just drive there or something. I thought uh, isn't your friends uh, Smosh going? Yeah, they're going, but I, see, I haven't I haven't met them yet, so I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> Because they're, they probably hang out with like the really big YouTube people, so I, I don't want to I don't want to show up and just follow them around and just be. <laughs> like, I have nobody else to hang out with the guys. Like, <laughs> can I hang out with you. <laughs> oh, this feels kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I can understand. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> next. Maybe next year. Unless I got this whole moving out thing to worry about. Yeah. Oh, I want to. I want to get a bunch of videos out before I move. In a, in a month, I'm gonna crank them out. I move in one month. You gonna leave the pizza box on the ceiling at at your old house? You gonna bring that with you? No, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna take that with me. Oh yeah, we have, we have a new cartoon ad. It's all way God of Mercy. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good cartoon. Yep. All right. Well, you know, you got we got we both got videos out this this month. Hooray! Yeah. I got my. I got my cake and, and blood vomit video. <laughs> you got your cartoon. Your oh, tune. Jim Ether has a new Kickstarter. Oh, yeah, which he already succeeded in, so he doesn't need us. Yeah. He already... Wait, when does that end? Does that end today? 34 hours. So, oh. yeah, by the time this episode's up, it'll be ended. <laughs> <laughs> he would have already so made his of, video. <laughs> a lot of good we've done. It's not, it's not a video. He's doing a he's doing a fake yearbook. Oh, I didn't even wow. see. Wow, he's raised four thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, he's doing it's. It's actually a really cool idea. He's, he's like uh, people, people donated, and then uh, like he he does a character for them that ends up in the yearbook. So he's like doing a, a yearbook with with students at this uh, the Red Pines two thousand twelve high school yearbook. Yeah, pretty, cool. A, pretty cool. Pretty so, cool. So uh, you better hurry up if it's still happening. It's you know, by the time this episode's up, it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd mention it though. <laughs> well, congratulations, Jim Ether. Yay! Congratulations. Yeah, it's a cool project. I'm glad I got funded. I like I like Jim Ether. I do too. We should have him on. Yeah, we need to have him on. We should have had him today. <laughs> yes. So we have two potential guests now. Anyway, the topic of this week is United States Permanent Paper Law. The United States Permanent Paper Law is a joint resolution calling for the use of acid-free paper for federal records, books, and publications of enduring value. It was signed into law by President George H.W. Bush in October of 1990. Yeah, I hate that acid paper. Too many trips on that. This is a bill... So that important documents would be done with acid-free paper. Sucks for all the stuff that was done on uh, acid paper before that. Yeah. So we got we had they had to redo all of that. Yeah. I wonder who has to write all that out. You. Your mom. Now it's time for Chris counts to a thousand. Go, Chris. Oh, hey. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 1,000. Uh, I was really, I was really hoping you would go all the way, all the way to a thousand. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days, maybe I will. <laughs> you never know. You yeah. don't know when that's going to happen. I have total control over this segment. Next time on Chris Counts to a Thousand. <laughs> Chris Counts to a Thousand. <laughs> it's the worst. This is the worst bit ever. <laughs> no, I don't think it's the worst. I think it's it, it's it's. How come I get all worse. the? How come I get all the all the uh, crappy bits? All of them, yes. All of them have gone to me. I had to sing. <laughs> I got to make up a word. <laughs> but that's funny though, especially since all your words are extremely sexual. Mm-hmm. Uh. Nah, not all of them. Not all of them. Just most of them. Well, yeah. guys, well, guys, let's move on to the delightful 
and the repugnant. I will go first this week. Uh, no! My delightful is the uh, the restaurant Plum Bistro in Seattle. Plum Bistro. Oh my god, it was they, so good. Do they make plums? It's better than be, be high velocity? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it was it was it was so good. It's it's like my favorite restaurant now. Yeah, it's it's a restaurant. Your favorite good restaurant. En- it's a restaurant good enough that I would go back to Seattle just to eat there. Oh my god. It's yeah. It was it was amazing, and they had brunch too, which I I had a couple times. And oh my god. Do they make so do they what kind of stuff do they have there? Uh, vegan. It's a vegan restaurant. I will not make the trip to go. <laughs> oh, it was so good, though. Everything, everything was amazing. I, I couldn't believe the food that I was being brought. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Do they have lamb chops? <laughs> no, no, they don't. Have, they don't have lamb chops, Robert. Do they good? Do they have a good hamburger? No, no, not not can really their a, stuff. Can I get a corn dog? My repugnant for this week. <laughs> Is uh, restaurants with uncreative chefs? Oh, really? The hotel what I happened? was the hotel I was staying at. Uh, they have High a, velocity. No. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had a uh, a restaurant in the like in the hotel. It was like this fancy restaurant. It's it's like the kind of place where they have like on the the website they have information about the chef and his training and stuff. And so it's you know it's a fancy restaurant. You know I was staying at the hotel and uh, the first night we got there, the person I'm dating, we uh, uh, she's vegan, I'm vegetarian, and the menu had, was all meat stuff. Oh, I bet it's fun eating with you two. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually, see the thing is like like we go to restaurants that we know they're gonna have stuff that's that's good, but uh, you know we didn't want to go out, so we we ordered in room service, and room service comes from the the restaurant. And there was nothing on the menu that that uh, was uh, that, that we could eat, and so we called and, and asked if there was anything the chef could make that was vegan. The hotel person or whatever said they would go talk to the chef, and they called us back and they're like the chef can prepare steamed vegetables. <laughs> That's all you deserve. Did you eat the steamed fe- vegetable ve- yeah, vegetables? <laughs> yeah, and they were pretty good, you know, for for steamed vegetables. But it was like you know, it's he's it's. There's a sh- it, it, you're not like at a restaurant if you're a chef you're either a chef or like a short order cook or something it's like are you just preparing from a recipe book or are you actually a chef what do you expect from a hotel restaurant though it, well it's it's a restaurant in a hotel but um, like it, it operates as a, as a restaurant like you don't have to be staying at the hotel to eat there maybe usually people that's all the I mean because it's usually overpriced food in the hotel restaurants yeah, of course, but still, it, they have an actual chef there, who should be able to make stuff. You, you mean a microwave chef? <laughs> no, it was an actual chef. Like it was, you know, the the food they had there was fancy food that had to actually be cooked <laughs> and not prepared just, properly, not just heated up. But yeah, it was. It's just you know, that, steamed that's, that's vegetables. My, that, that's my repugnant because just order a pizza. Pizza. What is your delightful and repugnant, Chris? My delightful is uh, Top Gear on BBC. Yeah, it's a good show. You showed you showed me that, and I saw a couple episodes, and I actually uh, caught the uh, uh, part of the American edition of it. <laughs> Man, that's ugh. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it just, it's, yeah. I was, I, I couldn't watch more than five minutes of it. Is that your repugnant, the American version? No, no, my my repugnant, my repugnant's a lot worse. Um, but yeah, Top Gear BBC, that's my delightful, my repugnant. Um, I was, uh, Jennifer and I were driving at night and, uh, all of a sudden it looked like there was like something like a bug, like a moth floating, like floating in front of my face while I was driving. And so when my eyes focused, it was an effing spider. A spider had, had repelled down from my ceiling right in front Mm. of my face within inches. There are three things that you don't want in the car while you're driving. You don't want a bee. You don't want a wasp. Or you don't want a Robert spider. Benfer? What about a panther? Well, you don't really want any list. dangerous. What about a lion? That's on a separate list. What about this a velociraptor? What about a list. giraffe? If I had a car big enough for a giraffe. Well, no. See, that's the reason why you wouldn't want a giraffe in your car. 
Maybe I have like grenade. a. I could put a giraffe probably in my in, my, in the bed of my truck. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so the spider. So I slam on my brakes, and I'm trying to figure out how to get this spider who's sitting an inch from my face. Because I don't know what kind of spider it is. It could be a poisonous spider. <laughs> That's the worst feeling. And I tried to get it out, and evidently it fell down somewhere, and I couldn't see it. So I have to drive the rest of the way trying to see if there's spiders crawling up my legs. So that is my repugnant. Insects that bite, or potentially yeah, bite, driving. During my, during my first road trip, when I was driving to New York, I was, it was late at night, and uh, there was a spider like crawling up my arm. <laughs> I thought I was seeing things at first, because I was really tired, and I realized it was real. <laughs> and then I, uh, then I accidentally drove off the bridge, and, and uh, I, I, uh, that, that was last part wasn't realized. <laughs> I was just trying to make the story more interesting. I don't know. <laughs> then I then I drove off a bridge and went back home, not remembering how I got out. And then Beetlejuice appeared. <laughs> what is your delightful moment? Why don't you guys just order a pizza? <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> get a good a good cheese pizza, right? Yeah, it's it's vegan. Just get a good cheese pizza, pepperoni on it. Oh yeah, pepperoni. Oh like, man. So you gotta do. That's Delightful, you Robert. <laughs> Use your GPS on your phone <laughs> to find the nearest. I don't know, Pizza Hut or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a cheese pizza. I'm sure they had Little Caesars around there. They have $5 pizzas. Man, you can't beat that. We did, oh, God, we did. not Little Caesars. That makes me sick. <laughs> we, did, we did order a vegan pizza while we were there, and it was it was pretty good. Was I'm it? sure it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was actually really odd. We got it with a bunch of weird toppings, and I, I wasn't expecting it to be great because the toppings were just bizarre. Calamari? Was... No. <laughs> no. Sausage? No, it was like sweet potatoes and stuff like that. Sweet potatoes don't belong on a pizza. I, you would think, but it actually worked entirely. I had a white pizza yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was good. There's nothing crazy on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so I saw the, the new Harry Potter movie. Uh, Is that your delightful? No, no. This is something I wanted to talk about. I saw a new <laughs> Harry Potter. I mean, I don't want to talk about the Harry Potter movie. The Harry Potter movie was good, but but uh, I went there uh, opening night, and uh, I was I, I got recognized by three fans that night, which is uh, never happened before. Just three fans happening to be in the same place, and I guess it, it makes sense because <laughs> because it's Harry Potter. So that's that's probably my fan base. If if I ever want to go anywhere where fans are gonna walk up to me, it's gonna be the Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Did movie. you have the midnight showing? I went to the midnight showing. There you go. That's like the true fan base right there. We didn't we didn't get the Batman teaser. Which kinda <laughs> made me mad because I was like, no, I don't want to watch the leaked versions of it. I'm gonna watch it at the theater. <laughs> and I didn't get it. So that's what I get for being good. So what is what is your delightful? Anyway, the fans <laughs> that I talked to uh, at the theater, they all listened to Chaos Pony. I just wanted to give them all a shout out. Unfortunately, I just realized I don't remember any of their names. <laughs> what kind of what kind of so I probably should have brought it up. I have a terrible person. I shouldn't even brought it up. The whole point of bringing this up was because I wanted to give a shout out to them. I forgot their freaking name. <laughs> oh, and the <laughs> what is your delightful? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and one of them was dressed up as a Harry Potter character. What the fuck is your delightful? <laughs> Tell me what it is, or I will kill you. <laughs> so you guys think of the uh, the Spider-Man? Jesus Christ! What is your Jesus. delightful? <laughs> Jason's on the edge of a sh of a seat here, waiting for your delightful. Oh, my delightful is, uh, is uh, that Beavis and Butthead are coming back to the TV. I, I saw I saw some clips. It, it actually looks good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. it's coming back to it's, MTV. Uh, Looks like M yeah, looks like MTV is finally coming to their senses. Get rid of all these stupid reality shows. I like that they're uh, they're also going to be watching a uh, Jersey Shore and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's going to be fun. 
Um, that's my delightful. Mm -hmm. And what is your repugnant? They should bring back liquid TV while they're at it. <laughs> <laughs> they should that'd just be, bring that'd be awesome. back. Bring, do you remember, uh, did you ever watch Syphil and Ollie? Yeah. They need to bring back... A, they should just bring back all those shows. Yep. Get rid of all the reality TV show stuff. Just have a three-hour block of Syphil and Ollie liquid TV. Eon Flux. I didn't watch Eon Flux. They should bring back Mr. Rogers. My repugnant is uh, my GPS got stolen for the second time. Damn. Out of your car? Man. Yeah, right out of my car. They didn't break my window this time. A couple of <laughs> my, a couple of years ago, um, I, I was at the movies with friends, and while I was in the movies, uh, somebody broke the window of my car and stole my GPS, which I deserved it because I kept my GPS up in the window like an idiot. <laughs> I didn't take it off and put it away. It was like up there for everybody to see. So my car got broken into. I took the GPS. I had to fix my window. I actually had to drive back home. I had to drive an hour home to Austin with, with no driver's seat window with glass all over the seat. God, I'd have been pissed. I was sitting in glass. It was a terrible night. And then, But now I, lear I learned my lesson, and I hide it. I hide it in my glove compartment or the back of my one of my seats or whatever or down, you know, you know where it's hidden. In your pants. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I guess somebody, somebody walked up to my car, opened the door, which I didn't lock. <laughs> That's another lesson I need to learn. <laughs> you need to lock your door. Well, if your door if your they, door wasn't locked, well, they could have broke I mean, the I guess window. Yeah, at least they didn't break the window. At least they had courtesy there. Um, so they opened my window. They reached. Uh, they reached uh, into uh, into my uh, my CD case thing that goes between the seats. They pulled out my GPS and just uh, walked off with it. I didn't think GPSs were such a, a hot item. Just, still. Yeah. Just like that. I mean, everyone has GPS in their in their phones almost. They took it. I prefer to use uh, that my other my GPS though than my phone because it's safer. Because it's up on the window. You know. Uh, yeah. See, my my phone has a built-in GPS navigation. Though I'm glad they didn't take. I have this. I have one of those things that you hook into your iPhone and you plug it into your your car so you can listen to your iPod in the car. Last time my GPS was stolen, they took that thing, which really pissed me off. Cause like taking the GPS, I understand that, but making me go out and buy, buy another thirty dollar freaking <laughs> iPhone thing is it one of those that's, one of those things that, that you listen to it through the radio? You, no, it's uh, it's like a one of those cassette ones. Oh, the cassette one. It, it's like a cassette thing, and it plugs into your iPhone. And you put it into the cassette. They didn't take that this time, and they didn't take my. I also have a car, ch a phone charger in my car. I didn't take that. I have a lot of shit in my car that people can take. <laughs> you want to tell everyone just, where you live? And just like that, it was gone. That sucks. That was the delightful and the repugnant. Next up, world news. I, you want to know what's going on in the world? I do. What is your news story, Robert? All right. Another girl decided to cut off another guy's penis. Hey. It's happening again. But this time, she put it in the garbage. Oh. Oh. But that's what else my life. <laughs> what else are you going to do with a penis? I don't know. So, uh, you put it in the freezer. She's kind of hot. But I wouldn't date her now. <laughs> well, maybe I would. You think... Is that a, is that a turnoff? Nah. When the officers arrived, they found the man tied to a bed and bleeding from the groin area. He told officers that the woman had given him a drug in the dinner she had made for him. Oh, man. See, you gotta check your food before you eat it. <laughs> yeah. The the suspect called nine one one and told responding officers that he deserved it. What? <laughs> yeah. Did, so that happened. Do? I don't know. I guess he cheated on her or something. So she tied him to a bed and cut off his cut off his pee pee. But mm. man, that sucks because they can't even. It's not even like last time where they can sew it back on. It's gone. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. She's like, he ain't getting this thing back. She had heard the story. She she wanted to make sure. 
That's got to suck. Yeah, she I feel said, bad she said they're not sewing this thing back on. They're sewing it on 15,000 pieces. So, do you think they can make Jake, like some sort of prosthetic? Yeah, how do you think he's going to have to live now, Jason? Maybe he could strap a dildo to his waist. Penis transplant? Yeah, penis transplant. Chris, what is your news story? My news story is Milk has to uh, get rid of their sexist campaign. It's called God Apology. Milk Board Can's sexist campaign. Even though they had some advertising up in California that <laughs> it shows... Um, I guess uh, it, it pokes fun at, at guys and their girlfriends who or wives who are suffering from PMS. Mm -hmm. And so evidently people got upset about that and Milk had to apologize. But the, uh, the poster says, I'm sorry for the thing or things I did or didn't do. Everything I do wrong. Everything I do is wrong.org. Huh. I didn't think they had a website. Milk can help. Her, it says milk can help reduce the symptoms of PMS. So milk, milk got in trouble. Take that milk, stupid milk. <laughs> I like milk still. <laughs> Jason wasn't into that at all. No. Well, how can I how how can I follow how can I follow a story about a guy who gets his penis chopped off and thrown in the garbage disposal? You can't. I can't follow you that. Have tried. Robert should have gone last. There's my news story. Now yeah, let's see your Jason's. Yeah. Hairless monkey mistaken for alien. Okay, I, I'm beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Residents of a Chinese village said a creature initially thought to be a visitor from an alien world was found to be a hairless, starving monkey. Uh, Mao said the creature was first spotted eating cucumbers in her Gazai village apartment, and she initially thought it was a rabbit, Sky News reported Friday. At first I thought it was a rabbit, then I was shocked to see it had an alien face, Mao said. My neighbors agreed it was nothing like we'd seen before, she said. It stopped eating cucumbers when we gave it peaches, and now it won't eat anything else. Mao said she and her neighbors were soon told by scientists that the alien creature was actually a malnourished monkey without any body hair. She said scientists were examining the creature to determine its species and origin. Damn. Stupid monkeys. All right, well, Jason wins this week again. I never Monkey. win. Monkey! Monkeys always win. I never win. <laughs> Monkeys are always the winner. So, I this dope... Here's a picture. Here's oh. a picture. This this article has a picture. Oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> gross. I mean, I wouldn't think that's an alien, but... What the hell is that thing? It has big, it has big eyes. I don't, does it... Is that... I think monkeys look like that. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> what the hell is that? I found another news story. Uh, they they refused to believe her until she trapped it, took it to the police station in a washing basket, and demanded the officers arrest it. Arrest it? <laughs> <laughs> arrest this creature. This alien. Get rid of it now. <laughs> oh my god, I, another article with even more pictures. The other The other pictures are way more freaky. Oh my god. Ugh. It's like a furry golem. <laughs> Almost. Except much cuter. Wait, why not do that one? What the hell is this thing? It has big eyes. That's an alien. Yeah, there's no it's way. It's an alien disguised as a monkey. Yep. A pretty <laughs> bad disguise, too. Got caught. <laughs> Well, everyone, that is World News. This dope this morning calls me. This dope. Okay, this, this guy calls you, and he's like, this, what? This dope. He's no. like, where are my apples? No, this dope calls me. I had a sack me. of apples. And you're the dope. And they're gone. This entire the sack. Dope. This entire sack of apples, and it's like, <laughs> no, and they're no, gone. No. That's not, that didn't happen. This whole sack, I know you. it was you. I know it was you. No, you called me. I know me. you took my apples. I had a sack of apples. This is all, <laughs> this is fictional. <laughs> <laughs> there was, was one me. nectarine in there. <laughs> this idiot calls me an hour early. one nectarine, <laughs> a white flesh nectarine inside the sack of apples, and that's... 
it was hidden there so that people wouldn't take my nectarine. <laughs> and now the whole sack is gone, and I'm pissed because I really wanted that nectarine. <laughs> At least it didn't steal your kumquats. So what were you saying, Rob? <laughs> this idiot Jason calls me an hour early on Skype, ready to do a show. It's it's too early. The idiot, the idiot calls me on Skype too, way too early. <laughs> Did he wake you and up? And he's like. He's like, why isn't? Yeah, I was. Well, I was waking up. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had, I'd been awake for thirty minutes, and then I heard Skype. <laughs> heard him call me on Skype, and I'm like, that's that's not Jason. I mean, we only record for another hour. <laughs> so I get up, and it's him. <laughs> He's like, it. Chris isn't on Skype yet. <laughs> like you, you stupid, you numbskull. <laughs> <laughs> it's an hour like, too early for this. I forgot what show. time we recorded. I'm sorry. It's been it's been too long. That's why. Jason, you. I was wondering why he sent you. You're a silly monkey. Jason sent me a text that said Chaos Pony. It was at. It was an hour early. I was like, I was like, huh? Is that three, right? <laughs> Jason, he said, yeah. Jason, Jason's yelling at everybody because <laughs> we're not on it. <laughs> Why is everyone late? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? What's going on here? You asshole. <laughs> now it's time for Robert invents a word. Robert. Oh, yeah. Have you invented a word this week? Yeah, I invented a word. What is this word? I invented a word. Do you want a word? I invented a word. I, I want a word. Give us a word. Lay a word down on us. All uh, right. Trigoshin. Didn't we already do this? Tragoshin. <laughs> Tragoshin. Is that that sounds like a word we've done. The, we did Tragugan. <laughs> okay, what is <laughs> this is Tragoshin. <laughs> how do you, you, you already how do you know spell it's the The diehard how do you, the diehard, how do you spell Tragoshin. The diehard people who listen to the show already know where this is going probably. How do, how do you spell T R E R E G G O O T I O N T I O N Okay, Trigoshin. Yeah. What does Trigoshin mean? It's when you have three balls up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, I've had a lot of time on my hands the past two weeks that we haven't been recording yep. episodes, and I've uh, I've managed to not only grow a third ball somehow, uh, well, not grow as much as I just I put it in there. And not only that, but I've actually managed to learn to put it up my ass. I have three <laughs> balls up my ass today. Wow. That should have been my delightful. <laughs> that should have been. That That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. God. Yep, nothing, uh... See, I was sad... Last time I was sad about, you know, I couldn't have three balls up my ass, but, uh, nothing, uh, nothing a golf ball couldn't fix. <laughs> no. <laughs> a well-placed golf ball. Mm -hmm. You like the dimples on the golf ball, Robert? Yeah, and the ladies like it too. <laughs> so my balls look really weird right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got an extra one, and they've been up your ass. So, does the act of doing yeah. this does it stretch them out, Robert? Yes. Yes, they're really, really low now. Do you and have, there's three of them. Do you have to hold them up when you're sitting on the toilet? I just let them. <laughs> I just let them hang in the toilet. <laughs> That's what I would do. You teabag the toilet. You just gotta let them hang. It's a good choice. Dip, yeah. dip them in the water. No, I like. No, I just keep them around my neck. <laughs> when I walk down the street, I just kind of I swing them around like a lasso. Just I feel like I'm in middle school up. again. These are the these are the kind of things we would talk about in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the Order of the Pony update. This idiot <laughs> called me an hour early. What are you doing, Jason? It's, we're gonna record for another. We don't record until two my time. It's one. You're not supposed to record. Yet. Where's Chris? <laughs> no, Chris isn't ready to record yet. You're not supposed to record yet. There's no way we're going to be able to record fan mail this episode. I mean, read fan mail. 
The Order's North American Security Center is requesting that whomever has been sending them yodeling CDs stop immediately. They have no use for them. We've also been asked by the Grandmaster Zorik to read the following message. Happy birthday, Belinda. You did it. Another year. Do not touch the green balloon. With love, Zorik. <laughs> Belinda. Belinda, yeah. <laughs> That's the Order of the Pony update. There's so much shit I'm trying to fit in. We just don't have time for it. We need to record a week, every week again. <laughs> Let's let's do some emails, I guess. Do we have time for emails? Yeah, but there's like five minutes of the show has been you being disconnected, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay. You have bad connection over there, Bert. Got an email from Natalie. Hello, Natalie. Hey, this is Natalie. I've been a fan of you guys for years. Just have a couple of dumb questions. Uh, one, did you find it odd the year you finally decided, uh, finally decided to do this podcast is the same year that the new My Little Pony cartoon exploded in popularity? Ooh. I think the pony has a lot going on at once, so. He's a very busy pony. Or she, or it. Or it. It can be, yeah. It's probably, it's probably an it. That's my guess. I'd love to think of it as a dude. Yeah. Two, were uh, were there any videos that you guys worked on that actually stressed you out? I have a nervous breakdown for every video that I do. <laughs> but what I do he is does. I take about five Xanax and I just I just finish the dang video so I can get it up on the internet. Is that the secret to success? Yeah. And then I don't remember it. <laughs> World of Dentists was hard to film. So I had headaches like the whole time and it was a really complicated movie. Well, I had a complex storyline. Actually, actually, I gotta say, the last video I did wasn't very fun. Cake? Yeah, puking blood and shit. Yeah, what was that, uh... What did you, what'd you use for the blood? It was just fake blood that I b- bought off Amazon. Oh, so you didn't even make your own? No, I just <laughs> bought it off like Amazon. Caro, I caro if, syrup or whatever? I figured if I tried to make my own blood, it wouldn't look that good. <laughs> Three, <laughs> if you had to bone a cartoon character, who would it be and why? To bone a cartoon character. Yeah. Huh. Oh. I know the obvious. Just that. What, what is the obvious? The obvious. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. From uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I guess that's a good uh, good decision. Nice, Jessica that's a nice Rabbit. safe decision. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I'm going to go with uh, Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Of course. (laughs) Well, as long as you didn't say Maggie. Wait, can they be animals? (laughs) Cartoon, yeah. Cartoon characters. Hey, Robert, you can take Roger Rabbit. I'm going to say uh, Norbert from uh, the Angry Beavers. (laughs) There you go. I'd I'd probably pick Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Brothers. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. Dr. Girlfriend's pretty hot. Come on, Monarch. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, sexy, sexy voice there. Is that what that was? Yeah, it's Dr. Girlfriend. We need to do this podcast every week again. Email from Dom Dom. <laughs> no, Don Don, sorry. Or something, I don't know. I went on a short road trip this week with some of my friends. I told everyone that they shouldn't bring any music because I was going to make a great mix CD for the trip. First, I was going to make a real CD, but as soon as I heard your Lion Tail song, I changed my mind. I just put that song on the CD and put it on repeat for the whole trip. <laughs> Needless to say, they aren't my friends anymore. <laughs> I'm thinking it was worth it. That's, that's great. That's a good great. way to get it's, rid of it's, friends. It's a good song. You know, I've actually, uh, I've actually become an alcoholic from the lack of uh, Chaos Pony that we've, we've been recording. I don't really feel yeah. like I have a purpose anymore. You kind of took it away from me. <laughs> Next email is from Josh. I don't know. Who is Vin? I don't have any money anymore. I blew it all on my alcoholism. Mm-hmm. From Josh, who is Vanilla the Plastic Snowman and what happened to him? Uh, it was the, uh, the uh, co-member of the uh, Junior Science Club. I don't... 
which is even know what this is. Logan Whitehurst oh. band, like solo act. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I thought it was like something yeah. you did. No. Uh, last email is from John. Hey, Jason, Robert, and Chris. I love the show. I was wondering what were some of your favorite. Che- what are some of your? No. Oh, what were some of your favorite cheesy movie quotes? I guess what are is probably yeah. What are some of your favorite cheesy movie quotes? No more dead Jeez. cops. <laughs> it's probably anything from Batman and Robin. All right, everyone. Chill. <laughs> Let's go kick some yeah. ice. <laughs> yep. This is why Superman works alone. <laughs> <laughs> that card card. Uh, Don't yeah. leave home without it. You're not sending me to the cooler. I don't get that one. <laughs> me neither. I've never heard the gel be called cooler. I like that uh, Robin was frozen, but he's he's alive. Robin gets frozen. That's something you can just walk away from. Please show me mercy. Mercy. I'm afraid my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Bruce, it's me, Barbara. I found the bat cave. We gotta get those locks changed. I need to. So many. I need to. I need to watch this movie again. Why is it all the beautiful ones are homicidal maniacs? <laughs> Awful. It was very bad, but something could. Something good came out of it. What is that? Batman Begins. <laughs> yes, it was so bad they, they they needed to reboot the series. <laughs> Joel Schumacher was actually uh, before they decided to reboot Batman. Joel Schumacher actually had a another movie planned. Yeah. Uh, where uh, where I guess he was going to try to bring back Jack Nicholson as the Joker, <laughs> and basically he was going to come back through uh, hallucinations from uh, mm-hmm. Scarecrow's uh, gas or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that would have been great. Yeah. Allow me to break the ice. My name is Freeze. <laughs> oh. Learn it well, for it's the chilling sound of your doom. This, these aren't even good puns. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the show, everyone. One more. No. Come on, you gotta give us one more email. There's, there's no more I have in my list here. Come on, we barely gave them any show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one more email from uh, Jason. It says, what? Robert needs to <laughs> shut up. Oh, Jason. Oh, oh, look at what I did. Look at what I did. Jason. <laughs> Who knows what wacky tricks he'll do next? It's the Jason Show. Damn it, Jason. <laughs> Jason, you, Jason, you cunt! He's such a tease, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. God damn it, Jason! Such an asshole tease. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got an email for you, Jason. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> You're stupid. I guess I'm the one with egg on my face now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this episode is a wash and egg wash. (laughs) 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 We had some yolks. Uh, when am I going to see you guys again? Why am I making egg puns? <laughs> because you're an idiot. <laughs> so I guess my brain's all scrambled. <laughs> my brain's over easy. <laughs> Wait, no, that, that wasn't very good. Look at the sense. sunny side up of things. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could really go for an omelet. (laughs) (laughs) 
Cash Ponies filmed in front of a live studio audience in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time for more wacky hijinks. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, that's so fresh. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yo, what up? Whoa, that's so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I that ain't right, yo. Uh, you're right. That's fresh. <laughs> that's so fresh. He's filming in front of a live studio audience in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see you at some point, everyone. Some point. I, uh, so, I hope I didn't make too much noise during the show. I... <laughs> <laughs> G- goodbye, everybody. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderofthepony at gmail.com. <laughs> I'm not hearing Robert anymore. Yeah, I think there's a, a connection issue. Jason uh, and Chris can't hear me anymore. Yeah. You gonna try to recall him? Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Damn it. So Jason and Chris, it uh, looks like my connection with Jason and Chris got uh, some working. I don't have a lot of energy today. I've been working really hard on on different stuff. Oh, Jason's calling me now. Hey. Hey, guys. Uh, I guess my internet went out. Yeah. <laughs> I think the connections... First, oh, man, we lost Robert Connection again. went bad again. <laughs> it's a bad day for Chaos Pony. He's got a bad connection. No, it's I don't know. The night. I'm alone again. So, uh... I want, since I'm alone, I want to talk about the Spider-Man <laughs> teaser. I'm sure the movie's going to be good. I just I don't want to see. Well, this sucks. I don't have to watch. I don't want to have to watch. Freaking Peter Parker you get bit by the Jason? spider again. Yeah. Are they and good? Uncle Ben gets shot. Mm-hmm. I don't have any food near me. But mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it anyway, probably. I miss doing this every week. Just between you and me, Jason Damn. is an asshole. Come on, Robert, you asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I lost internet connection. What time are you coming over tomorrow? Um, what time? I don't know. I have any more internet. Anytime. All right. Uh, my internet's all gone. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's happening Do to today. Uh, I don't know why I keep losing my internet. We gonna go out for lunch or? If you want uh, to, hold on. I think my internet's coming back. Yeah, but you. Yeah, but I'll see. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. All right. I mean, do you have food at the house just in case I bring food? I can make a sandwich or something. All right. Yeah, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might need to eat up some lunch meat that I might have in my fridge. It sucks. Go bed. So I'll see what I need to do. Or we can go to Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, I could. Man. <laughs> It's a bad day for internet. <laughs> I wanted to bring that up. I don't know how. Uh... Why am I? T- <laughs> no robber yet. No. Damn. I don't, I don't know why I'm. Trying, I don't know why I'm talking. None of this is going to be in the show. <laughs> ah, this sucks. <laughs> hey, Robert. Hey, hey. Hey guys, I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> Ever, is everyone still recording? Yeah, I'm yeah. still recording. Alright, good. Yeah, I'm still recording. So, uh... Okay, you guys ready? Ready, go team! Our little... This is for our little monsters. 